Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Van Vu and today I'm gonna react to a video called Seven Things Not To Do In Vietnam by Kel McKinley. And thank you Kel for letting me react to your video. And by reading the title, I think it's gonna be a very helpful and very informative video for uh, people who plan on going to Vietnam. And as a Vietnamese person, I'm very curious to see what people think of Vietnam. And maybe I can add something in this video in terms of cultural tips. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. I love the music, very catchy. Good. Oh, this is Saigon. So to preface this video, I've lived in Vietnam for about a year, and there's something really special about yep. this culture. This is Ho Chi Minh City. Whether it's the rich culinary history behind their street food scene, or their explosive sense of entrepreneurship, there's something special about this place. Now that being said, having lived here for a year, I've picked up on some things that you might want to know. So without further ado, here are seven things not to do in Vietnam. Let's get into it. I really love the bird's eye view here. Very nice shots. Number Good one, job. don't stop while crossing the street. Now traffic in Vietnam, especially the big yep. cities, is absolutely insane. And it's hard to wrap your head around visiting for the first time. Now you'll notice that when a lot of people cross the street, they don't falter. They set a course and they walk mm -hmm. it. And that's because the way that traffic works in Vietnam, it's the motorbikes or the car's responsibility to accommodate you into their flow. So you'll notice that you can cross almost anywhere. I agree with that. Oh my gosh, so traffic is actually my first uh, reverse culture shock when I moved back to Vietnam. I was so afraid of crossing the road. I don't know why, even though I was born and raised here. But some of my foreign friends, they just love the traffic here. They said it's chaotic, but somewhat very organized. And they just love the freedom uh, of like hopping on a motorbike and just drive anywhere. And yeah, I don't know, but the traffic in Vietnam still chaotic to me in the street and the motorbikes will kind of flow around you like a school of fish they're anticipating you continuing on the line that you're on and they plan accordingly so don't stop at random points yep yes don't stop at a random point though like do stop when you don't feel safe but then don't stop suddenly you know one tip i have for you by practicing crossing the road so many times is that um just put your hand out like this so you can signal people that you're gonna cross the street and then after that just go with a predictable pace you know and then people will sw swerve around you don't be afraid though i know it's it's gonna be scary at first, but everything is gonna be fine because they drive very slowly sometimes. Random points. Yep, that's traffic in Vietnam. Number two, don't use taxis. Now that's because everyone in Vietnam uses a service called Grab to get around. Yes. Which is the exact same thing as Uber. Grab and the B. The best part is that in Vietnam, they have motorbike grabs, which means if you're by mm -hmm. yourself, it is by far the easiest way to get around. Now I'm trying out the uh, Uber. Uh, Uber Moto option for Saigon, which I have to say is both the fastest, the cheapest, and the most fun way to get around the city. Absolutely the most fun way, because I think you can, when you um, on a like, grab bike, you can see the city, you can feel the wind, and you can see like everything with your own eye. So, and it's actually very cheap though. So from my house to Hoan Kim Lake, uh, it's about like six kilometers and it's only like $5 to uh, get a grab bike there. So yeah, I think it's pretty affordable to get a grab bike um, as your main transportation in Hanoi. This will always be the best way to get around. Or in Vietnam. <laughs> Let's go the financial Number tower. Number three, don't be afraid to haggle. Now, there are so many street markets in Vietnam that it's impossible not to find yourself in one at some point during your trip, even if on accident. And the important thing to remember if you want to buy something here is that every price is negotiable and they tend to strike a hard bargain, especially if you go to tourist markets like Ben Than Market in Saigon. You don't want to pay the tourist price. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, okay, so... Um... I saw a video recently that there was a guy trying to bargain like 50% off for like a, a, a shirt, you know, and it was so funny. Um, yeah, definitely uh, try to bar bargain 
when you go to the night market, especially like、um, the Bintang market or like Dalat night market, or even like Hanoi in Hanoi too. For me personally, I don't usually bargain for that because I think I don't want to invest a lot of my time and my energy into. Uh, bargaining, and I only save like fifty cents or something. So yeah, and I think like the locals, they work so hard to to earn that money. So I don't usually bargain. But yeah, a lot of people bargain. But、um, night market is different because it's for tourists. So maybe try to bargain. I I think people set like bargain down like to for forty to fifty percent of the original price.、Uh, ask for the price first before you buy that item to avoid scam. So yeah, that's another tip for you. Number four, and this might be the most important one. Don't skip street food. The street food in、Don't、Vietnam is、food. the most insane food I've ever had. Both in diversity, quality, flavor, it really has it all.、And、there are so many amazing dishes to try, and of course, all of it is safe to eat. And one thing I'd say about street food in Vietnam <laughs> is try to find some of the lesser. Oh, this is I remember this place is actually in Saigon, and they have the best. Oh, very very good the the Vietnamese pizza there. And oh yeah, when I went to Saigon to that place, I learned their marketing strategy. They use the what is that called? Um, com complimentary complimentary goods. So for example, this lady is selling the Vietnamese pizza. Ah,、uh, she's gonna sit next to the guy or、uh, or the woman who sell the soy milk or the drinks that、uh, will go with the Vietnamese pizza because you know when people eat, they tend to get um thirsty, right? So it's very very smart of them, and I realize that、uh, as a marketing person. So yeah, like when you watch my channel, you not only、um, learn about the culture and the Vietnamese food, but you can also learn some of the marketing tips. So yeah, subscribe if it, it's helpful. <laughs> Number five, don't confuse currencies. Now the Vietnamese currency is called dong, which still makes me laugh every time because I have the sense of humor of a twelve year old. And the denominations are huge. <laughs> oh God! I swear I didn't do that on purpose. For example, one U.S. dollar is the equivalent of about twenty-three to twenty-four thousand dong, with the denominations going all the way up to five hundred thousand. Now, because of this, the currency can be kind of confusing with so many zeros after it. So make sure to double check what you're handing a vendor, and make sure you're giving them twenty thousand and not two hundred thousand. Yes. So,、um, I think the ten thousand dong. Will be confusing with the two hundred thousand dong and the twenty thousand dong will be、um, mixed up with the five hundred thousand Vietnam dong, which is the biggest value of money we have here, biggest currency. Yeah, so like watch out because the ten thousand and the two hundred thousand they have the same color, kind of the same color. Um, just a bit different, and the twenty thousand and the five hundred thousand they both blue. So just watch out for that and. Uh, especially when you come to Vietnam and you want to pay the Grab driver、um, by cash,、uh, you should not give them the big amount of money. Just、uh, break it down. You know, give them small change like twenty thousand or like fifty thousand. Because if you give them the five hundred thousand Vietnam dong, maybe they just don't have the money to pay you back. So yeah, just remember to give them smaller money. Number six, don't book online. Now this、What? is surprising for people、really? who travel a lot because, as a general rule, it's almost always cheaper to book online and、yeah. more expensive in person. But for whatever reason, in Vietnam, it's the opposite of that. If you go to book a hostel or a hotel in person, the price will always be significantly cheaper than if you booked online.、And、I didn't know that. This applies to everything, not just lodging, renting motorbikes, going on tours, stuff、oh. like that. So keep it in mind when you travel there. Yes, actually,、uh, renting a motorbike. If you rent a motorbike in person and you try to bargain,、uh, they're gonna lower it down for you. But I don't know about the hotel because I always book online because I think that、um, like the rooms might be out. I don't know, but、um, I always book online. So I might try it out. I don't know. Last but not least, number seven: don't be afraid talking to locals. 
Mm, yeah. Now the language can be pretty daunting, and you'll find it's hard to communicate with the locals. But that does not mean that you shouldn't interact with them. And even mm -hmm. if you just learn one word, like cheers, which is yo, it'll go a long yo. way. They're such so unfriendly and open people. <laughs> that the language barrier doesn't really apply here. And I guarantee your trip will be much better if you do. Yes. Don't be afraid to talk to the locals because... Okay, so I have heard of other YouTubers or other foreign friends who said that Vietnamese people are not as friendly as Thai people. Thailand is the land of smiles, right? Vietnamese people are a bit different because when you get to know them, they actually very warm and very kind. So just smile at them first and just initiate the conversation first. And then after that, they got open up and they're gonna like share their stories. I really love the contents of uh, Max McFarlane's and Chris Lewis because they are so friendly to the locals. They are not afraid of talking to the, the, to the Vietnamese. I remember in one of Max episode, Max's episode, that he was eating something like intestine and he was reviewing about the meat and he said it was good and he was nodding and the lady, the owner, uh, from behind, he she was just give him more meat without extra charge. So yeah, Vietnamese people are just very kind, curious, friendly, warm, they have very great hospitality. So yeah, don't be afraid to smile at them first, okay? So guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out more of my things not Where to do videos, it? you can click on the links on screen now. And then that, hope Where you guys do have they have the, the elephant? Oh, I just love the bird's eye view here. So beautiful. But yeah, I think that's it for the video. All right, guys. So that's the seven things you should not do when you come to Vietnam. Overall, I think this video is very well done, you know, uh, very nice shots of Vietnam, catchy music, and he um, captured pretty much everything in his video. So I'm very, very happy about that. And for me, this is my first time doing reaction video, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below how I did, okay? And any topics or if you guys want me to do more reaction videos, just let me know in the comments down below too. And I hope my tips and his tips in the video are helpful for those of you who plan on going to Vietnam soon. Alright, so if you like this video, don't forget to give a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any videos of Vietnamese food and Vietnamese culture because I'm going to take you guys with me on my journey soon. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!